So I came upon this video. It's from the Lee Collection, taking delivery of our new Bugatti Chiron Super Sport in London. They were going on in a plane, and they showed this footage here. I can't play it on YouTube because of copyright strikes, but let me blow up the footage for a second. So here's a blown up image. Basically what you're seeing is the flat earth, right? And what do you see here? The sun. The sun is tiny, folks. The earth is enormous. Um, I don't think uh, our, our maps do, do, anything, do any justice to how big the earth is. I think the earth is bigger than you think. I think it's, it's an infinite plane, I think. I think it's massive. I think the Earth is bigger than you think. Um, just by looking at this and look at satellite, like suppose the satellite images, which is actually uh, weather balloon images, right? Let me bring up. A, do I have it here? Hold on. Let me bring it up. So when you see images like this, it's basically from a weather balloon or a high altitude plane, right? But they're a hundred thousand feet up in the air, maybe even one hundred fifty thousand feet up in the air. But yet they can only photograph a small portion of the Earth right why can't they show more of the land right the reason is because the earth is bigger than you think it is i mean what you've been told i mean it's massive it's 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 sometimes they even show like a you know a tiny part of africa or australia right in their image why can't they show more of it right <laughs> they're hundred thousand feet up, the, up in the air they should be showing more of the earth right but they know they're only showing a small part because the earth is massive right so here this is proof the Earth is massive. The Sun is tiny, and it's local, as you sh seen here. And the proof is in the clouds, right? Look at the clouds around it. The clouds around are shine are being lit up. And yeah, it's it's proof that the the Sun is small. It's tiny. The Earth is massive, and yeah, it's a, it's an infinite plane. That 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 map I always show you. So this is the map I always bring up. The reason why I bring up this map is because they always, <clears throat> these governments, uh, the media, the science, the supposed science community are hiding resources, hiding land from us, right? Um, if, if, the, if the population in the world knew that there was land outside of here, right, they would go berserk, right? Um, they're hiding, you know, technology, they're hiding free energy, right, from us. But the reason for this video is to show you that the, 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 the sun I just showed you is on a infinite giant plane, right? And I'm I'm thinking that this is an accurate rep representation of the of the realm we live in, right? The sun is tiny, but the realm we live in is huge, right? Um, there could be more suns here, right? There could be there could be we know there's a sun here. There could be another sun here, right? There could be another sun here, right? And the years could be longer here in this uh, section, right? But there's no proof of this right now. This is all speculation of this, but the reason why I bring this up because the government's always, you know, they're high. They're they're basically um, um, having security people on hand in Antar in our Antarctica to make sure that you don't go outside that ring, right? That section. But they don't want people going out here and start, you know, exploring this area, right? Um, yeah, if people found out how big the Earth is and how much resource there is and how much other land there is, the whole population would go berserk.